Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi. Welcome to Mindful Monday. Short practice, some movement, some breathing, meditation and motion. I'm glad to join me today. We're going to get started on our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana. Supta Baddha Konasana. Lying on your back with your feet together and your knees wide. Supta means reclining. Baddha means bound. Our feet are together. And Kona, angle. Right, the angle of our knees. And asana, asana means, asana means pose, but asana also means to take your seat. Um, clearly we're not seated here, but as we settle into our breath, and as we settle into our body, we're taking our seat in this moment, in present. Begin to feel your breath, and you can have your arms and hands alongside you with your palms up. I like this variation because you're open and receptive. You might prefer to bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. So as you take your breath in, and the breath out, you can really feel the movement of your breath. And if you have a, a hand variation, a different hand variation that you prefer, then by all means work with that. There's no, there's no one right variation for everyone. I believe this practice can be right for everyone, but each of us, each of us finds our own unique variations so that it works, so it works for us. Noticing here if you can soften your shoulders a bit. You might soften your face and your jaw. And take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. You might notice if you get a little antsy here. If you get fidgety, if your thinking mind starts to wander. I think it's part of the practice. Noticing that, noticing that, that unnecessary movement that often leads to unintentional and unwanted stress and worry. So when you notice that extra movement, keep coming back. Feel your feet, your toes. Feel how supported your body is here. Most important, feel your breath. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Now draw your knees into your chest. Give them a squeeze. Maybe a little side to side movement here. Still feeling the movement of your breath. Keep your right knee in to your chest and extend your left leg straight out on your mat. You can point your toes or flex the foot. Feel all the way out through your left leg. So the extension is intentional. If you want to make some circles with the right foot, you can. Keep moving your body so you can feel your body, feeling the movement of your breath in your body. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Now draw your left knee in to meet your right. Give both, the, both knees a squeeze. Keep your left knee in and extend your right leg out. And even as you interlace your fingers around your left leg, let them be soft. You are holding your left leg, but you're not hanging on. And you might point the toes on your right foot or press out through your heel. make circles with the left foot so you have some movement in that left ankle. 
Letting your shoulders come away from your ears. And take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And draw your right knee in to meet your left here. And take your legs up to the sky. You can slide your hands under your hips. Maybe have a block. A block under your hips is really nice. If you're near a wall, you can take your legs up against the wall. And if you like shoulder stand, you can set that up. Or if you're playing around with a headstand, you can add that in. A lot of the times we are pushing to do more on our mat and off our mat. So here, I'm keeping it simple. And maybe simply lying on your back and taking your legs up, feeling that you don't have to do as much as you can do. That, that's pretty empowering, right? That you don't have to do as much as you can do. And instead feeling what's just right for you. It might be more movement, but it might be less. And feeling the movement of your breath. A big inhale. And a big exhale. And with your legs up, point your toes, right? So really intentionally lengthening, maybe a sensation of stretching. And now flex your feet, press your heels up, pull your toes down towards you. It's so movement, there's movement without right, feeling like you're moving, right? You're holding here, but you can feel the movement in your legs. I can feel the movement in my legs, the sensation. Now, just let your feet come to neutral. And notice if you're hanging on anywhere else in your body, if you can soften. Take your breath in. And a breath out. Here, engage your core. Keep your legs long and slowly lower your feet down and out in front of you for 10, 9, 8, really slowly, 7, 6, notice you get impatient, 5, 4, 3, two, and all the way down to the ground. Take your hands up overhead. Right? So your feet extend in one direction, your arms in the other. Extend through your right side body. So your right hand, your right leg extend apart from one another. Gently release and switch sides. Extend your left arm, your le right Sorry, extend your left arm and your left leg, left foot apart from one another. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, gently release. Let your arms come alongside you, palms up. You can keep your legs as they are. You can come back to Supta Baddha Konasana or take your legs back up again. Just a few moments here in Shavasana. Any last movements that you want to add in so you can settle in to just a few moments of stillness and really so you can settle into your body, into your being, into ease and joy in your strength and your power. Take a breath in and a breath out.
take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And draw your knees back to your chest. Give a nice squeeze. Roll to one side and make your way to seated. Hands to your heart. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining me for this simple, mindful Monday practice. I'm Heather, and I'm the Vent Yogi. I hope you enjoyed the practice today. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Uh...